hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today is sydney's 70 day update for having locks and we're going to be talking about sydney's hair stages and there are five stages of lock growth and first we have starter lock sydney is her starter lock phase number two she has some budding three teen four mature and five everybody wants the golden rooted stage one thing that didn't change is Sydney is on top of her silk scarf at night or if she's laying around, she's wearing that silk scarf. And then another thing that hasn't changed is Sydney is still in the mirror shaking her locks and singing, shake your dreads, shake your dreads, shake your dreads <laughs> because she loves her locks to death. Look at her. Anyway, so let's talk about since this is a 70 day update and i'm so excited we did do some things differently before if you've seen our last video we were spritzing her hair with uh, my super moisture product that i have and regular water every day we were going ham because i had the mindset of her locks will not be dry and if it's gonna lock it's gonna lock well we changed that we don't even, this is our first time um, using my oil. We were oiling it all the time, but we changed some things up. So, okay, Sydney has starter locks, but in the back, her locks are budding. They're in the budding stage. Some of them, because um, as you know, Sydney was transitioning out of a relaxer before she got um, her locks. And I cut a lot of her hair off before she got the locks and the um, stylist cut some more off but um i did basically a big chop and in the back she was mostly um natural she was natural and that is where the budding is starting to happen you can see um the budding phase is like sprouting it can start from three to twelve months it's the stage that has a puffy and frizzy side and your hair will start to like mat together so that is what's happening on the back of her hair and some of the sides. So um, some are in stage two of the lock growth journey. And I love her lock so much. It just makes me so proud. She is so happy, the ease. And um, right now it's kind of low maintenance for us. The more low maintenance for her hair, the better it is for her. Sydney because it's easy and all we do is run our fingers through it every day to make sure they don't tangle and um, Sydney did get her first retwist about 15 days ago and her twists are lasting a long time and they only start to frizz up because she walks three miles every day we have like a walking pad um, and she walks, she comes home from school and she walks on her walking pad or will go for a walk in the park. But I love the front of her hair. It's like my best feature of her hair because it really gives her texture. Um, and this is not my favorite part, but that's where she has the relaxer. So I don't know if we're going to instant lock that or just let it grow out and cut it off. We don't know. And there's my favorite lock i'm still thinking of a name because the name of the game is patience with starter locks um and the match um the maturing process is a a gradual one you want your locks to eventually mature into the rooted stage but it takes time and just because your hair is not you don't see it every day it doesn't mean it's not happening Right, so today we are going to use my super moisture and I'm going to do light light sprays or light spritzes throughout her hair and because I don't want to oversaturate it because I decided not to do this because I want her hair to lock up and so right now less is more for us and as you saw her scalp is really clean we keep it clean there's no uh, visible build up in her hair and as I was saying I mentioned that walking pad is because 
Um, if you if you do extreme exercises or um, things that make you sweat more, if you just sweat easily, your twist out isn't going to last as long. So that's why I mentioned that walking pad. So imagine if she wasn't exercising every day, her hair probably be a little bit better because she really takes care of her hair. But her scalp is clean. Also, um, my super moisture hydrating mist is really good because it is aloe vera based. So aloe vera is great for um, locks in the growing process and keeping your hair clean. And then there is my super growth, which is my hair growth oil that is all natural as well. And I use this on her scalp. And as you can see, Sydney's hair is just blooming like a plant <laughs> and we're so proud of it that's my family child what y'all doing filming yeah my mom's putting oil on my hair what's that what's that what's that what's Okay, bye. The starter lock phase can be from about three to six months, depending on your hair type and how fast your hair grows and the budding and budding and sprouting phase is three to 12. It just depends on your hair type and everybody's hair is different. Every day your locks can mature little by little, even if you're not noticing it. Every step you take in your care routine contributes towards it washing it hydrating oiling etc you know so so all those factors contribute to the maturing of your locks so staying on top of those really matter a lot staying on top of your routine our routine was low maintenance we did it differently from the first 30 to 40 i believe 40 days um this is helping us out a lot you can see the growth in sydney's hair um look at it it's just so beautiful um and another thing patience is key it's easier said than done stop comparing yourself to others have a set routine and clean your locks hydrate and clean your locks and another thing i would say is keep a photographic diary on your journey because looking back and seeing how your hair comes along how much it has grown how it would drop all those things is great it's a great way to keep you going and to feel better thanks for watching please share like and subscribe y'all thumbs up i thank you and have a blessed beautiful day